I am so cheesy today, you won't believe I had to go to this. this you won't have to go to this. On top of this, this Dave actually bails on me today. I was have to take care of his door today and stuff like that. And on top of that, that I was at, I was late for the show today. I was got stuck in traffic. It started to rain early this morning. I was caught in the rain. I caught a chill. I was really crazy. On top of that, that idiot pops would let me in the building. I was actually go with my car broke down. On top of that, my car broke down. Basically, it was, it was damaged at a stunt like I imagined. At the time, it actually fell off a cliff that was actually damaged to the And that won't start anymore. At the time, it was going about 10,000 miles an hour, which is the fastest that ever gone. Fastest ever gone. Or just start the show. Start the show. Start the show. Or the rain. Oh, well, um, especially I had to go through. Well, kids, we have a great show for the RT today. Especially we have a great, great show to train. And we will have a great show today. It's so amazing. Anyway. Anyway. Why don't you watch my favorite cartoons? This is a cartoon called The Family Circus. Really amazing. This is, was made in 1947. This is was before Runner to the first round or cartoons of Family Car the popular cartoon strip, Family Circus. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now keep in mind that April is doing this with little rehearsal. We grabbed her just a few moments before the show, showed her what she had to do. She did climb up there just to get a feel of the height. She's amazingly strong. There she goes. I don't like the way she's looking at me. I'm gonna come down. Look at that. Great job. Terrific. Now, was that as much fun as you hoped it was going to be? Yep. Would you like to run away with the circus and maybe do this professionally? Yes. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Let's hear it for Stefan, for Lily, and of course for April, who did a super job. Thank you very, very much. And of course, right now... Hey! We both have the same face. We both have the same hair. We both have the same outfits. Wow, Earth Boss must be the same. What? Is somebody the other boss? What's the other boss? Our voices. Oh. Our voices are different. Dee 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 dee. Do one of your songs. Let's see. I've got two eyes so I can see. I've got two ears to listen to what you say to me. I've got a mouth so I can speak. I've got a cheek right here and here I've got another cheek. I've got a nose so I can smell. I've got a chin but what a chin does I just can't tell. I've got eyes, ears, nose, mouth, cheeks and chin. Each in its place, and they're all part of one fine face. You've got two eyes. I've got two eyes. So you can see. As I can see. You've got two ears to listen to what you say to me. So what to me? You've got a mouth. i got a mouth. So you can see.
speak. So I can speak. You got a cheek right here. And here you got another cheek. Another cheek. You got a nose. I got a nose. So you can smell. I can smell. You got a chin, but what a chin chin does, you just can't tell. Oh, well, I can tell. You got eyes, ears, nose, mouth, cheeks, and chin. Each in its place, and they're all part of one fine face. Yes, they're all part of one fine face. Hi, this is Ted Harris of Harris Puppets. Anyway, today in today's show, we're going to be relating a classic story from, from ancient times. And it's called King Midas. There was a king called King Midas, and he loved gold. He loved gold more than anything. Every day he loved gold. He also loved his daughter, Marigold. She was a beautiful girl and all that. Uh, but one thing he loved more was his gold. Every day he went down, King Midas went down to his treasure room where he counted his gold. So every day counting. And who should show up by a stranger actually one day? Oh, King Midas, you're quite amazing. But who are you? Oh, just a friend. Friend for all people. All people. Now, I can greet you a wish I could imagine. And King Midas knew his one wish. I wish that everything I touched would turn to gold. So in one day I would know the king. Are you sure that's what you want? You know, you could have anything. Fame, fortune, an, an ostrich, an elephant. Tickets, tickets to see Britney Spears perform. I was, I was, I was, wished that everything I took returned gold. Right, if that's what you want, then your wish will come true by tomorrow. So the king slept hardly. And he, and First thing he did was he touched the bedpost. It's amazing. He touched the book. It's amazing. He touched the chair. It, it turned to gold. The barrel also turned to gold. A piece of coal turned to gold. Then he went out to the garden and touched all the flowers. And all the flowers turned to gold. He was quite amazed. He just... Then he sat down to eat breakfast. Then who should show up with his daughter Mary Gold? What's the matter, my dear daughter? I can't smell any flowers or have any fragrance because these flowers are just nothing. He might uh, try to touch his coffee. That turned to gold. His toast, his eggs, his bacon, that turned to gold. Now he came away so sad. And, you know, Marigold tried to comfort his, uh, her father. He might kissed her. But then suddenly she turned into gold. Gold. Oh no! I do regret this. I do regret this. I wonder how long you're gonna, it's going to take you to re regret your foolishness. Was, would you have to interrupt now? I was, have, I was at a lovely party. Oh, this gold is hateful to me, you want to imagine. Oh, I can ungrate your wish. Let's see. Gold coins, gold eggs, gold... Ah. You must, you must bathe yourself in the, in the water outside your, your water. Then take water and... It's very cool. Everything you touch turned to gold. Everything. The king agreed. Now, my great you goodness. King Midas actually jumped into the water. Then just rushed walked away and climbed out. That's done. Now to get home. King Midas went and took, and took a pause. He saw that that did not turn to gold. Took the gold from the water from the river outside. It, and stuff. So he out everything. Even mere gold. You have very gold. But she would turn back to human. Oh, Father, it's quite amazing. It's amazing. Oh, my God, Miracle, I missed you. I'm, I'm glad to see you back. The only thing he loved, loved now is Miracle's gold hair. And eventually, peace was achieved. And Midas learned to be a good king. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end.
And that is our version of King Midas. It's quite amazing. Did you enjoy it? I knew you would. Ted Harris over at all. Hi, this is Parsley. I'm asking you, will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? If I asked you, would you be my friend? If I told you, would you be my friend? If friends are forever, will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Friends are nice to have a good time. They'll hold your hands when you are scared. Friends are nice to have a good time. They'll hold your hands when you are scared. Will you be my friend? If I told you, will you be my friend? If I asked you, will you be my friend? If friends are forever. Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Friends are nice to have a good time. They'll hold your head when you are scared. Friends don't mind if you act silly. They'll be your friend right to the end. You be my friend. You be my friend. I hope you'll be my friend today because it's quite amazing. It's great amazing. What are you gonna do? Here, put this on. Are you crazy, Ted? Put that. Get that pot off my head. <laughs> what do I need it for? Well, a little while ago, I brought the brought the piggy bank. You broke the piggy bank. So I put the money in the cookie jar. Oh yeah. Well. And then I, what? I put the cookies in the sugar bowl. And then uh, you put cookies in sugar bowl. Then I put the sugar in the flower pot. You put the sugar in the flower pot. Then what? No. Then I put the, the flower. Flower the milk bowl. See, that's what I did. Aw, oh, Ted. I put the milk in the soda bowl next. And then you put the soda in the, the fish bowl. bowl. And then and then the fish in the cowboy hat? Yeah, that's right. You mean in my cowboy hat? How'd you guess? Well, I, 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 you didn't tell me, did you? Right. Listen. Well, so what am I going to wear every time I want to play cowboy, anyhow? I'll show you. Right, cowboy. <laughs> I don't get it, Ted. I just don't get it.